What is the solution to this global energy challenge? Well, the results of our research suggest that a transition to 100% renewable energy is not only technically possible with current technologies, but is also an economically competitive option. At the same time, we can meet the ambitious goals of the Paris Agreement, create sustainability on several different levels, and assist in achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I guess the main enablers of the transition are the rapidly falling costs of solar power, wind power, and battery storage. In addition, our research is showing two important developments. First, there'll be a great opportunity for energy prosumers in the future. These are individuals, businesses, and industries that both produce and consume energy. The result of prosumerism is that energy systems will become more distributed, in contrast to the predominantly centralized systems that we see today. Second, Increased electrical connections and energy cooperation between neighboring regions can enable mutual benefits for all. This also challenges the status quo to some extent, as fossil energy resources tend to be rather concentrated in some regions of the world, which leads to energy inequality and lower energy security. What are the technologies that will help the transition to happen? Perhaps the most interesting of these are the so-called power-to-x technologies. With an abundance of sustainable electricity, we can not only satisfy our growing needs for power, but we can create heat using heat pumps and satisfy our transport demands in electric cars. Here at Lute University, we've also shown how excess power can be combined with basic elements such as air and water to create a wide range of hydrocarbon fuels and chemical products. Although we talk about decarbonization, we know that carbon is an important raw material in our lives. Power to X gives us a way to still use carbon, but as part of a sustainable circular economy that does not result in net emissions. Power to X research at Lute highlights how we can develop useful compounds for the energy sector and industrial raw materials. First, we can use excess power to satisfy growing global demands for water through water desalination. But perhaps the most interesting product to come out of our research is an ability to make food from little more than sustainable electricity and air. What people can do right now to accelerate the transition? At the moment, we need to realize the power we have to make the transition move forward through the choices we make every day. The products we buy have a story to tell us, and we can use our purchasing power to affect change in that story. We just need to look at the energy aspect of the story and make decisions that support our goal to provide clean and affordable energy for all. There's an old saying that we manage only what we measure. So if we don't have a close look at our use of energy, we'll never make improvements. The Finnish innovation fund Citra has compiled an excellent lifestyle quiz that measures sustainability on many different levels. It also provides 100 realistic ideas on how to cut your carbon footprint. Most importantly, I hope everyone takes home the message that we have the power to make a difference with almost everything we do. To borrow some words from Greta Thunberg, someone who inspires me very much, you're never too small to make a difference. Together and united, we are unstoppable.